Tyler here with projectsinmetal.com. I wanted to show you guys the lathe that I just purchased for my home shop. It's the Grizzly G0602 and uh, it's it's a great beginner lathe. It's small enough that uh, you know it's easy to fit in a basement or uh, you know a small shop, but it's large enough that that uh, you won't easily out outgrow it anytime soon. It's a, a 10 inch by 22 inch lathe, meaning it's got a 10 inch swing and uh, 22 inches of travel. But I wanted to, to talk about one thing with the lathe that, that I found a little bit lacking, and that's um, that's the tool post. The G0602 comes with a four-way tool post that, that I find a little bit inconvenient. I'm not a big fan of, of shimming tooling and you know with, with this type of tool post when you have your high-speed steel tooling inserted into the tool post you have to actually have to shim it up or down to get it on center line. And so one of the first upgrades I wanted to do uh, to this lathe was add a quick quick change tool post to it, and Grizzly sells uh, a couple different quick change tool posts, uh, one of which fits the G0602 uh, quite nicely. So I wanted to show you the steps needed to convert the existing tool post that the G0602 comes with to a quick change tool post. It's really simple. Uh, you simply Remove the existing tool post, set it aside, and you'll see that it's got this piece here that slides into the compound, and uh, when you tighten down the handle on the tool post, it pulls this piece up and tightens it against uh, the compound here, and then of course you've got the rest of the tool post resting on, on here on the compound, so the pressure is what locks the tool post in place. So, like I said, Grizzly sells a quick change tool post that is perfect for this lathe, and when you buy the tool post from Grizzly, it's going to come with these pieces right here. This piece, this uh, threaded shaft, and then this piece. So converting your tool post that comes on your Grizzly G0602 to a quick change tool post is pretty simple. You need to buy the 10 inch swing quick change tool post set from Grizzly. It's the G5689 tool post set. The kit comes with, this is the, the main component that you need to adapt to your lathe and for the G0602 it's as simple as either taking the this plate and making it fit this slot or doing like I did and manufacturing another plate uh, out of a piece of, of steel. Uh, the reason I did this is you can see that the plate that the, the kit comes with is a little bit short for the slot that it needs to go into. I don't think that really matters but I didn't want I didn't want space for a bunch of chips to build up and I just thought it looked a little better if, if the plate itself was, was the right length. Now, if you make your own plate like I did, you're going to need a metric tap. It's an M14 by 1.5 tap, and that's what will allow you to uh, tap the appropriate size hole for this thread. Then, once you've got this, either this plate converted, uh, meaning milled down to the right shape, or another plate made, changing the tool post is as simple as sliding it in place. And then changing tooling is as simple as sliding the tool in place and tightening it down and when you want to change to um, like a, an, another tool you loosen it and you swap the tools out. Now obviously these tools, the, the reason that I like these over the other tool post is simply because they're adjustable. Um, the height of the tool is adjustable. So once you have the height set on center line, the tool is going to be on center line for you know every project and uh, it just makes it quick and easy to switch between multiple tools it becomes especially important if you've got multiple steps on the same part uh, that you need to perform and that's the reason I like the the quick change tool post over the 
The other style that the, the G0602 came with is just a lot more convenient, a lot faster, and uh, no shims.